After enjoying 56 years of blissful marriage with Samuel, Julie found herself consumed with regret following his passing. His departure left an unbearable void in her life, a void she believed might have been filled had they chosen to adopt. As grief enveloped her, Julie made the difficult decision to sell their home and return to her hometown of Tennessee, where her parents' house awaited her inheritance. The house, untouched since her parents' passing, held an eerie charm with its old-fashioned design and spooky reputation that kept visitors at bay. Julie, now withdrawn and melancholic, shunned interaction with her neighbors, fostering rumors that painted her as a witch, a recluse, or worse. Three lonely years passed in this self-imposed isolation until one fateful day. Startled from her thoughts by a loud knock on her door, Julie heard a voice pleading, Mom, please open the door. Her heart raced as she struggled to comprehend the reality of someone calling her mom after years of solitude. With a heavy gulp, Julie cautiously approached the door, her mind racing with disbelief and fear. Was this a trick of her grieving mind, or was someone truly at her door? As she reached for the handle, silence engulfed the hallway, leaving her uncertain and trembling with a mix of hope and trepidation. Just days earlier, a new family had moved in next door, a vibrant couple blessed with three admirable triplets. Julie observed them from her kitchen window, a pang of jealousy and longing stirring within her. She imagined an alternate life where she and Samuel had embraced parenthood, filling their home with the laughter of children and the joy of grandchildren. Perhaps, she whispered to herself, staring at the family next door, if only we had taken that path, I wouldn't be here alone today. Julie's heart yearned for the family she never had, a yearning that now stood on her doorstep, beckoning her to embrace the possibility of a new chapter. As Julie sat reflecting on her solitary life, she buried her face in her hands, attributing the voices she heard to her overwhelming sadness about never having children. I must be imagining things. It's these old age moments catching up with me, she grumbled softly. Yet the knocks persisted, each one causing a shiver to run down her spine. Please mom, please open the door, the voice pleaded once more. Julie froze, startled by the insistence and familiarity of the voice. Is someone truly at my door? She wondered aloud, her steps cautious as she approached the front door, the knocks growing louder and more urgent. With trembling hands, she finally turned the handle and swung the door open. Standing before her was a striking young man, his eyes wide with disbelief. Oh my God, he exclaimed, it's you. Mom, it's Mother's Day and I found you. Julie's mind reeled with confusion. How could this be? She and Samuel had never had children. Who, who are you? She managed to stammer, her disbelief evident. The young man seemed taken aback. What do you mean? I know it's you. I'm not going to let you leave me again. I'm Eric, your son. Julie stared at him incredulously. Young man, this is no time for jokes. You've got the wrong house. I have never had children. Eric looked hurt and frustrated. I'm not joking. I can prove it to you, he insisted, reaching into his backpack and pulling out an old photograph. He held it out to her, his voice trembling with emotion. I was five years old when you left me at an orphanage, he explained quietly. Dad had left you, and you couldn't afford to raise me alone. You wanted me to have a better life. Julie's heart clenched as she studied the photograph, the memories flooding back. Could it be true? Had she blocked out this painful chapter of her life? Tears welled up in her eyes as the weight of Eric's words sank in. I am so sorry, Julie whispered, her voice choked with emotion. I didn't know. Eric nodded, his expression a mix of sorrow and forgiveness. It's okay, mom. I found you, and that's what matters. In that moment, the walls Julie had built around her heart began to crumble. The unexpected reunion with her long-lost son was the beginning of a journey she never anticipated, one that would bring healing, forgiveness, and the chance to embrace the family she never thought she'd have. As Julie listened to Eric's heartfelt words, 
her eyes welled up with tears. She glanced again at the photograph he held, showing a younger version of herself with a young boy on a beach. She wiped her tears and gathered her thoughts, knowing she had to explain the truth gently. Eric, I understand why you believe I'm your mother, but I'm not, Julie began softly, her voice trembling slightly. This woman in the picture, she's not me. You're not my son, Eric. Eric's smile faltered, surprise and confusion crossing his face. What? What do you mean? He asked, his voice tinged with disbelief. Please come inside first. There's a lot you need to know, Julie urged gently, guiding him into her living room. As they settled in, Julie took a deep breath and began to explain. She revealed to Eric that he was actually the son of her long-lost twin sister, Rosie. Julie recounted how Rosie had eloped at the age of 16 with her lover, against their parents' wishes, and had never been heard from again. We searched everywhere, Julie continued, her voice filled with emotion. My parents eventually gave up hope, but my late husband Samuel and I never did. We searched for Rosie for years. And one morning, Julie paused, her voice catching slightly. We received a call from Samuel's friend, a police officer who had been helping us with Rosie's case. He told us that Rosie had passed away in a homeless shelter. Your mother, she's gone, Eric, she's no longer with us. Eric was visibly distraught, his hands covering his face as he struggled to comprehend the news. No, that can't be true. Oh God, this is terrible. He moaned softly, overwhelmed with grief. In her own way, Eric, your mother did what she thought was best for you. Julie continued gently, reaching out to comfort him. She didn't want you to live on the streets with her. But I had no idea she had a child. If she had told me, I would have gladly adopted you. My husband and I, you see, we never had any children. So if you ever need a mother by your side, I'm here for you, okay? Julie offered warmly, trying to console him. Eric sighed deeply, his expression grateful yet sorrowful. Thank you, missus. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask your name, he said, feeling embarrassed. What's your name? Julie managed a small smile through her own tears. My name is Julie, she replied softly, Julie Walker. Eric nodded, his heart heavy with the weight of his newfound relations. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate everything you've told me, he said sincerely, his voice filled with gratitude. I, I don't know what to do now, but I'm glad I found you. Julie reached out and gently squeezed his hand. Take your time, Eric. We'll figure things out together, she assured him, feeling a glimmer of hope amid the sadness. Julie couldn't help but grin at Eric's response. How about just calling you mom? But fair warning, I can be a bit strict and high maintenance because I want my son to spend quality time with me. For now, there's no better option. Eric smiled warmly. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? Thank you for being so understanding. Mom, can I give you a hug? I've missed having a mom. Of course, sweetheart. Come here. Julie's eyes welled up as Eric embraced her. If calling me mom doesn't feel right, you can call me Mrs. Spencer. There's no pressure. I'd be just as happy being your aunt, she offered, gently patting his back. But Eric shook his head. Nah. Mom suits you perfectly, he insisted. Let's stick with that. From that day forward, Julie's life took a turn for the better. Eric became a blessing in disguise, transforming her solitary existence. No longer alone, Julie began to engage with her neighbors, who eventually learned her story and regretted their previous judgments. Before long, Eric convinced Julie to move in with him. She decided to sell her parents' house and relocate. Several years later, Eric married and Julie joyously embraced her new role as a devoted grandmother to a beautiful baby girl they named Rosie. This new chapter brought Julie immense happiness and fulfillment, surrounded by the loving family she had always longed for.